Let's uh, figure out how to manage my time. So I came up with a new idea last night. While I could go into labor at any moment, I did a lot of stuff just like looking at the social SEO. Good morning, my caffeinated accordion player in a polka dot straight jacket. Is it polka dot or polka dotted? Dude, yeah, this, this might be the beginning of something really cool, okay? I'm not saying it's going to be, it's going to work out just as I imagine it right now, but I have a pretty good... Anyway, last night, I mentioned that I was looking for some form of innovative marketing strategy for this YouTube channel. And I haven't been able to, well, I was thinking through different options. I don't know why I'm nervous. There's a police car sat right there. Is he going to follow? No. <laughs> I've been trying to think of innovative strategies to market the YouTube channel. Now, the one I've been trying is the social, I think it's called social SEO. They're basically just like trying to put yourself anywhere and everywhere. But I don't have the capacity right now and I don't have the funds. I don't have the capacity to do all of these clips, like to do all the work and editing myself. Uh, and I don't have the funds to employ someone to do it for me. So I came up with a new idea last night. I've asked my wife, she's good with it. She said, yeah, I don't care. So it's creating a TikTok or an account across all social medias. One account, it's like a default username, whatnot, but it is it's basically, the, the theme of it is my wife, a, it's run by a wife who has a husband who's trying to be a vlogger on YouTube, but she doesn't think he's gonna make it. She thinks it's, it's stupid, it's dumb, he's not good enough for it, and she kind of looks down on him. <laughs> so, the goal is that these clips, like I see them all the time, of like wives or husbands making fun of their significant other. And they do so well almost every time. So, but, but the goal is not that I make myself like look like a victim or I make myself look really good or make people feel sorry for me. I don't want to go down that route. I just want to, I want it to, I've got so many ideas here, but I, I want it to, I want it to be more about the character my wife is playing in terms of just being mean versus my wife being mean to make me look really good and people feel sorry for me. So like, what I mean by that is I don't want to be, I don't want her, I don't want to think of ideas and have her shoot ideas where I'm like being really good with my son or where I'm trying really hard. You know, like I feel like that's just cringe. And so if we think about it in terms of a sales funnel, the top of funnel, sorry, and the, the bottom of the funnel is someone who watches these videos. Top of funnel is these TikToks, like getting someone to see the content. And then they may watch it, they may, they may recognize who I am from TikTok maybe, but essentially, we let people do the work in terms of figuring out who I am. Because people love a good underdog story. And if I portray myself as the underdog, like I know this is like, is it manipulative? I'm not sure, but the way I'm looking at it is, this is a, to me, this is an exciting marketing stunt. Like when I did the couple of options or the couple of uh, previously well done marketing stunts that I referenced yesterday, like those I think are so cool. I think if you can pull one of those off, you're doing really well. And so to me, this is more about like, this is a cool, this is a cool marketing stunt. Do I think I could be able to pull it off versus uh, I'm desperate to get people to my YouTube videos and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, 
do you want to do you want to hear some of the ideas? <laughs> okay, I'm obviously a little bit excited about this. I'll go down through the list. Let me pull in up here, and I'll go through the list. You know what? I'm going to pull in next to a field where I've actually shot a couple of videos, <laughs> and it's just it's just a piece of farmland in the middle of the suburbs here. It's got a couple of haystacks that haven't been touched in years. I don't know why I'm explaining a piece of farmland to you. But like they were um, football or soccer videos I did. And then literally just down the road here, maybe two minutes from where I am, there's a massive soccer complex. I think there's like, I don't know, 12 or 20 turf fields. It's a cool complex, but I thought it would be better for those videos if I just did it in a random field. I thought that would be somewhat comical, maybe more relatable, but I like, I like pushing the narrative that like things don't have to be perfect to go and try something or practice something. Like if I could get a kid if I could help a kid understand that they don't, if they want to practice soccer, they want to be better, better at soccer, they don't have to have a proper soccer field to go and kick a ball around. They could go and do it wherever they wanted to. That is the narrative I wanted to push. Okay, I'm not going to pull in that field. Am I? Which is the easiest spot? Well, I could pull in at this school, but that's probably not, that's probably not the best idea I've ever had, is it? So, uno segundo, por favor, señor. It's, it's right here, by the way. Um, yeah, I, so I, I actually, weirdly, just came across an account in the gym. It's a DJ account. And their way of promoting their music is something like this. Like they, one of the guys in the group films the other guy doing stupid stuff. So I started following that to get some ideas from it and like style of it being filmed because that's what I'm not sure of. I think it, I, that's going to play a very important part. Anyway, these ideas. Uh, so it's mostly going to be her shooting me and I have no idea that she's shooting me. Um, so these are all different ideas. He doesn't even have the right gear. So like maybe me filming with an iPhone and another video of like he's just using an iPhone. Uh, he keeps showing me all the cat, the new camera he wants for his vlogs as if he gets more than 10 views. And I don't think I need her to talk in these. I think it can just be, I think actually just having a caption makes it way more realistic. As if like in the moment she's just gotten these clips and then had this like afterthought to put that, put the text on top versus her like planning out what she's going to say to me. I don't know. We can, we'll try it both ways. He thinks he needs an expensive camera. I guess that's me talking about a new camera. When I'm packing my bags, he's packing for a thing he calls side quests or something stupid. He's been doing it for X days and only has X subscribers or, f or followers, whatever you call them. And then it's like a video of me, I don't know, filming myself or something. Oh yeah, uh, I launched my merch back in September. I think it was September. And it's in a fulfillment center. I, like I didn't want to have to deal with all of the packing and shipping of it all. So I sent it all to a fulfillment center, but like so little of it is sold. I think altogether I've sold maybe like 10 items. <laughs> uh, so I think making some videos of her making fun of the fact that I haven't really sold anything would be quite good. He just got recognized in public and now he's excited like a child. How embarrassing. Uh... <laughs> uh, 
this one I think is just just cruel. It's a imagine that she walks in and she just like turns on my camera and then just like leaves the room and like takes my batteries off charge. Um I like to cut, so then the caption would be, I like to come into his office and drain his batteries so he can't do his stupid daily vlog the next day. Dude, how cruel is this? I think this is, I think this would be hilarious. Uh, and the whole, I, I think the really cool part about this is document everything here. Like the the whole process so that when someone eventually finds out or figures out who I am in the video because if the videos do well there will be someone who tries to figure out who I am and and then we can see the progression like I feel like this is you don't see many of these marketing stunts that are fully documented and I think doing that would be really cool and then I also I like the idea that if if I'm sharing it all here then people won't feel like duped. Um, people won't feel like uh, it was all a scam, which it is a scam, but it's also an experiment. I don't know, I really, I really like this idea. Um, and I think while I may be, may be able to come up with some ideas, I think I have no idea how to do this yet, but if we could have a way of you being able to suggest ideas for videos and then we do those, see how they do, I think that would be cool. I also, I don't want to give up on the social SEO. I think we can, can keep going with those. Uh, every now and again, see what videos I can do, but I think this, I think this would be cool. All right, well, I'm going to go home. Um, oh, apparently this, it's flurrying right now. Oh, no, now it's just cloudy. I'm looking at the weather. Right, well, uh, I have a call with a talent manager today. I I took down the, actually I took down a couple of videos today that hadn't done very well. Um, it's like, well, like uh, here's the question. Why do you take down videos from your social media? Well, firstly, because either I don't like that the video, I don't like the video I made, or two, the video didn't perform as well as I wanted it to. And if we consider my social media page like a portfolio, why would I want the pieces of work that people don't enjoy to be on my portfolio, right? So take them off. All right, yeah, let's uh, let's get home, get into some work. I'm meant to ask, what do you think of this? Do you like the idea? Do you think it's kind of cool? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> Hi, Duda. Good girl. Uh, I won't be long, which is a, a message for you too. Uh, so. Today, I did a lot of stuff just like on my own. Uh, where did we start? First thing, oh, that's right, late start of the day because we took down the Christmas tree. And in what what happened to the needles? Because this time they were just unbelievably prickly and it took us like two hours to clean up having dragged that out of the house. Anyway, <laughs> um, I edited the pod vlog, which I didn't do before I went to the gym this morning. Uh, I just spent longer in the gym and I decided, I, I, I'm trying this idea of instead of waking up, taking the dogs, doing the edit and then getting my day started because I've kind of been 
play in this idea that the day doesn't start until the pod blog is edited. I don't know how much I like that. Uh, so I flipped it around and then I also did the video that I'm going to push out tomorrow. So trying to get like at least one ahead. So whatever I have filmed, I can post without having to do any work in case Shay goes into labor. That seems crazy as if like this stuff should be on my mind when my wife's about to go into labor, but I'm doing it ahead of time so that it's not on my mind. Um, then the idea I had about get driving traffic to here, I had a chat with Stevie Sells. I'll show you his at on TikTok. Um, he's a top notch guy, also a family man. And uh, here he is. This guy, great chap. Um, he's very business oriented and um, he's, he's pretty good in the viral type of world. So I shared my idea with him and talked through it, see what he thought. He really liked the idea. The initial thought was, like, he's kind of scammy. And then I explained to him about how like, it would all be discussed here. So essentially, anyone who thinks it's scammy and follows it through will find themselves back to here where they'll start to understand that it's really just an experiment and it's kind of just for the fun of it to see what would happen and that the intention isn't to try and scam people. Like, I don't want people to watch if they don't enjoy watching. And no one's going to watch if they don't enjoy watching. Uh, so I had that conversation. That was really good. And then I think him, Kenny, K. Fergie, and I are going to chat again next week. Moved from that into a conversation with the talent management agency. Really good conversation. Um, more talking about like direction for the future and ways of doing things versus specifics. But the long and the short of it is, uh, while I would like deals immediately through that, it's probably going to take a good couple of months to build out. Since I'm that, I don't know if you call it lifestyle creator, whereas everything they have are tech creators. So like the brands and partnerships how do, that they already have, how do they align those? Next up. Um, Right, so I got that done. Then I did some more work on the pod blogs. I feel like I'm just telling you what I did. It's not, that's not my intention. I don't want it to be that way. Like I do want to work through this stuff with you because we're about to work through a sprint review to talk through like, or think through how did this, <laughs> how did this sprint go? The sprint being the week period and all the work that we set up for that week. So, Get that over there, sorry. Let me just change over these last few things. Sprint review, let's get that in progress. Um, all right, I will share my screen. So we're in sprint one. If you haven't watched, like if you have, don't have any understanding of the sprint, I need to actually, I'll, I'll redo the explaining of it again because, why am I looking at my photos? Because the, uh, so annoyingly, the video I recorded explaining everything was really bad. Like the audio on it was terrible. Uh, view channel, it is structure, so podblog 68, structure as a content creator. The audio is bad for like the first six minutes and then it's better. So here we have the sprint. So Monday, uh, a task that needs to, that isn't started but needs to be done is in the non-started column, and then you have it in progress when you move over there, and then it shifts to completed when done. So I did learn that editing the pod blog does take about two hours. Planning does, sorry, does take about an hour. So I think we'll stick at effort points of two. So this, the, the numbers, again, I explained it in this video, but that's like an estimate without trying to capture it within a time limit. It's like an estimate of 
this task is similar to this task. I know this task took this amount of time. So I'm going to try and estimate the same amount of time for it. So when you see a, a number in here, it means that that's my estimate of the amount of work involved. Um, why does that not have one? Edit TikTok is a two. Okay. Get out of there. The pod vlog clips. I don't, I don't think I'm going to go with doing one of these every day from now on, or at least two of these every day. I think I'll do them as and when I really get the urge, but they take about an hour or so. It's intense work, <laughs> intense work. It's actually a lot of work back and forth. And I'm going to switch these to be two points versus an hour. Gosh, I love and hate notion. Gosh, so everything at the moment is about a two. As you see, I didn't do pod roll clip two. So I think I'm just going to delete the two and a one would be nice. Sorry, doing one of them would be nice. Tuesday Pavo clip. How should I do this? Should I just delete them and then I do them as and when I wish? I'm not actually sure. I think I'll keep them in there for now. So the editing and the shooting, yeah, were threes, which is around about two hours. Yeah, that sounds about right. And then the pod vlog edit, which needs story points of what was it, two? Pod vlog edit or edit pod vlog two. <laughs> Names. Oh, this is so annoying, isn't it? This stuff. I hate this. Oh, it's not that bad, Oliver. So you'll see here on Wednesday, I just, I didn't get very good at doing this. Like I didn't shoot the second TikTok and didn't edit a pod vlog. Thursday, yeah, pretty. I did the pod vlog edit, I just didn't update this. Naughty Oliver. Such a weirdo. Okay, two. Uh, I didn't work on Crocs concepts, no poo pitch, and I did not review the list of brands. So I will need to be doing that next week. Thankfully, I have until the 11th before that needs to be done. But I've already moved that over to sprint two. Oh gosh. Sprint two, sprint two. And I didn't work on concepts today. I had other things that were higher priority. So we'll delete you. And we're currently doing the sprint review. So we've changed. Okay, so what went well? I think what went well is good structure for the first few days. What didn't go well? Uh, holding myself accountable. I, what should I do? I should, I should add in uh, like a buffer story. So each of these pieces, each of the, each task, I would call a story. So I should add in a buffer story for unexpected things. I also have like my thoughts for TikTok and YouTube here, but I didn't really do much on there, did I? Nope. Oh, sprint review. What else went well? What did I like about this sprint? I liked, liked knowing what I had, 
had to do, even though I didn't do it, even though I did. <laughs> what else did I like? I liked that there was a estimate for work involved, so I could manage my time. What didn't go well? Yeah, I just didn't really hold myself accountable. Didn't take into account unexpected things. Yeah. Okay. So I would, for I would consider that done. I would move that over and then move on to sprint plan. But for the sprint plan, I need to make some changes, like making duplicates of each of these so that they show up per sprint. Because I'd want to be able to go back to like the sprint review from sprint one, for example, and see what wasn't going well and what I changed. I don't know if I want to see what, how that went next week. So I'd have to duplicate this and have one set for every sprint. But that, that's just like legwork to do. So I will go and do that next. And then move over what's appropriate for next week. Yeah, it's tough. The, the clips, I just don't, I don't have the bandwidth to be able to do it with how much work it takes. And with the focus of this new strategy, I don't see how this is necessary. The new strategy being the my wife being mean to me. Oh, it did I, I'm sorry to be all over the place. One of the things that Stevie and I spoke about was how he was like, really like the idea, but what's your target market? Because I imagine it's going to be more women that will watch something like this and engage with it and want to figure it out. I was like, shoot, you're right. Like the idea, while I don't want to be a victim, I don't want people to feel bad for me, I want people to be moved enough that they take the time to go and figure out what it is. And then they get to this video and they decide that they either, <laughs> you okay, dude? <laughs> that they either do or don't like watching. But they, at the same time, they can immediately know that this was all a experiment, not something designed to make money or get views or whatever. It's more just like an exposure tool strategy. So him mentioning that gave me the idea that I can try and, uh, I'll try and play into this idea you see on social media that women don't see men as valuable, uh, that women can do everything that a man can do plus more, that women don't need men. If I can play into that, I think I can resonate with the men who would then be on my side and be more inclined to, you know, visit and see see what's going on here. I don't know why I'm still recording here. That's 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 a huge thing to have realized to have learned. Um, all right, well, am I gonna be doing anything over the weekend for this? I don't think so. Again, Mrs. could go into labor at any moment. Uh, so it's, fr sorry, it's Friday today. There will be a video tomorrow because I, I recorded a bit over the weekend, last weekend. I do da. That doesn't make any sense to you, would it? Because it's already been the weekend. Stupid. All right, I need to take my magnesium pills. Still going on this video, and I've been doing, oh, I'm out of water. The last five days, I do that. The cold showers, which actually started off awful, really bad, horrible. I, I don't know how long this has been here for. But we're gonna we're gonna go for it. I also have no idea what I was just talking about then. Oh, the cold showers. Uh, they've gotten better, and I really actually do feel invigorated afterwards, which I wasn't expecting. 
Do I feel invigorated or is it just shock? It's a good question. All right. You know what? Over the weekend, I'm probably going to come up with loads of ideas for the mean wife videos. I'll get, I can get the accounts and whatnot set up. I'm going to make it look super casual as if it's just a woman, a, a wife who's venting and kind of a bitch. <laughs> but my wife's okay with it. All right. Cool. I know it's not weekend for you. It's already been, but I, I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you have a good... Never mind. See you soon.